Hello everyone and welcome back to RimWorld. I am Cat, and uh, we are being attacked by a Militor, two, a Scyther, a Lancer, and this Pikeman, this, this bad boy. So I have a leisure is currently wandering around but I've called everyone back. Yeah, I've called everyone's schedule back. And uh, hopefully that uh, means Abilene is going to stop nature running. Now is not the time for nature running, kid. And these things are wandering. I don't really know where they're going. I'm just going to let them do their thing for now. Uh, I in the Sky is just absolutely not having it. And I think part of it, I was thinking about this. I was looking at their, their body purist. And what we've done is given them two Psylinks or Mechlink. So they're not actually happy that we've done this to them. Uh, and quite frankly, there's not a lot I can do about it. So, a yay, I suppose. Um, their wife being dead is also not really helping anyone. So we do have a chance that I in the Sky could uh, get a little bit pissy very soon. And I'm not going to blame them for it. Uh, because, I mean, fair enough. Sometimes that's that's how life goes, right? Sometimes you just have enough and you like go, you know what? You know what? That's enough. Enough is enough, as one very stupid protest once said repeatedly over and over again, thinking that was a good way to say whatever the hell they were trying to say. What were they trying to say? Enough is enough, I suppose. So we've got low food, and that's probably the case because everyone's got gut worms. We've got a lot of gut worms going on right now. What are you what do you got on you? Some slag. Okay, well, you can drop that slag. Alright. Good evening, JP. How you doing? So now, I don't know if these guys are planning to attack. I think... They're a way of checking the log. I hope that's not really what I was after. Why did I have just a drop there? Oh, it was probably when I came back with uh, I sold all the leather. That's right, I remember that now. But still, I'm not really seeing a log. So maybe we just have to sort of haul it and see what happens. Maybe we need to do a leader speech? No, today's not the day for a leader speech. Maybe today is the day for a leader speech. Yes. We could have a speech in the morning before the combat. Would be a good idea. Uh, I'd like love to make some more flak vests and flak jackets, but they, they haven't really got around to making those yet. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, we've got some steel armor. I think when they start thinking about making their way downtown, faces past, walking fast, all that sort of jazz, uh, we might... When they begin their assault, I might just grab everyone, tell them to go and uh, get sorted. Eats over here with gut worms. Okay, they're beginning their assault. This is exactly what I was saying. Everyone, it is time for armor. In fact, it's not, uh, not really military time. So these people here, I'm going to mobilize them. And then what we're going to do is undraft them. And then usually I imagine what they'll do then as top priority is go and get their um, weapons and armor or well, armor rather. They've already got their weapons. Yep, everyone's going in to go get the weapons. Okay, that's good. I'm glad everyone's getting armored up for a change. Uh, once everyone looks like they're done here, then we're going to... Uh, stop that. Dave, what are you wearing, Dave, too? You're wearing something very big. Oh, ah, steel plate armor, yes. 
think everyone's good now. You people are gonna go eat. That's probably a good idea. We really don't have a lot of food, but we've. Food is going to be a problem with these gut worms. If they don't get resolved soon, uh, we. Uh, what is this person doing here? Just lie in there. Okay, well, the robots are coming. Uh, I think it is time to probably mobilize the forces. Lena shoot. Lena does shoot. She likes it. She just doesn't do a lot of it. Okay. Mobilize everyone. Get everyone over here, and then we'll figure out what to do with everyone once they're here. Thankfully, a lot of people do have armor, so that's cool. I'm seeing flak jackets, I'm seeing flak vests. This is good. Helmets. People might actually survive this day. Uh, probably would have done better if we'd had everyone on the wall a little bit sooner, but that's okay. Yeah, it's the first one down. I mean, that was just a melee boy. He doesn't really have anything except... But he's not going down without a fight, that's the problem. Thankfully the doggies handled it, but I mean... How many times do we have to hit him before he just went down? A few times. The bad news... Oh... I think one of my turrets was destroyed. Okay, so the bad news is we're going to need... No, don't try to arrest Valdak. He's done nothing wrong this time. Uh, someone's vomiting? Is someone vomiting? Who's vomiting? I in the sky. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, you know what? We're going to have two of them take the wall. It's a good three solid hits with the chain shotgun. Two solid hits with the chain shotgun. Doesn't matter. I'll take two. Yeah, it's another one down. Next is this Lancer. And finally, we've got this bad boy who's making his way when he gets here. I don't really... Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, you can probably not... You can probably leave the wall now, Lena. I think you've done okay. Uh, who's the better shooter? Both not bad, actually. i hug that wall. Uh, Slaughterer. Uh, yeah, I this guy's gonna go and kill some animals. That's cool. That's just a normal thing people do, I suppose. Thankfully, we've hit it in the arm. Ritual opportunity soon. Yeah, the drum party. I, I can't wait for the drum party. Uh, death. Oh, yeah. That's fair. I and this guy is going around just killing animals for no real reason. Can't really stop that right now. Uh, you know what? I think we're going to... Wait. Hang on. Yeah, let's pull these two off the wall. I think we're going to just... Don't hold fire. Why were you holding fire? Um... Sam is a better shot than anyone else, so maybe Sam should go there. I'd love to get a sniper rifle or something like that. Got a couple of good hits. Sam has fallen over. What happened? Shot in the leg. Ah, okay. Go rescue Sam. And Nuke's here just to clean up the blood. Thank you, Nuke. Really appreciate it. I 
Okay, we're gonna move these guns, I think. Oh wow, the lance is dead though. Quite frankly, I think this is not the best way to deal with this problem. What we might do is, I think we just charge it, right? We're gonna go around the back and charge it that way. No, 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 not the front. No, not taking the front approach. That's a bad idea. I'm calling this idol. Really? Oh, Marcus? I don't really care about Marcus. He's not really one of my own people. Okay, so the plan is we're going to come around the side and just shoot it a bunch. Uh, a horse has been murdered. Another horse has been murdered. I'm this guy cannot be stopped. Uh, Belek is going back. Okay, that's fine. Well, like we went back to save Sam, which is okay. I approve of that, dec that decision. I think these two just charge forwards while Abolita and Hellbait take cover behind a tree. Oh, wow. Was that one hit? Oh, Dagoo just axed through its artificial brain. Slam. Love it. Sneak attack. That's what I like to see. Don't mess with the goo. He will sneak attack your brain. Also in real life. You know. That's just how Aussies are sometimes. You know. They're just stronger people than Kiwis. Like, I don't really have anything to say about it. I'm going to offend both Australians and New Zealanders with that one. And I approve. Um... But you know what? Offending people over silly lines like that. Oh, we're going back to slaughtering, are we? No, you finished that. Uh, can you repair this robot? Yeah. How's the damage? It's legs being shot off. That's a fairly easy fix. We've got this fire foam popper as well, just so if the batteries catch fire, we can just hopefully put the fires out. That's the plan anyway. Whether that's feasible or not, I don't really know. Uh, and we're stealing this man's jeans. You know what? I think actually we were going to leave this guy alone, but I think... It, oh, we do not have any three prisons? Uh, we're going to have another bed, right? Oh, uh, let's also assign people back to not armor or fancy. Except for, of course, Eye in the Sky. Who wants to wear fancy? Now, Eye in the Sky, your mood isn't very good. I understand that, but you know what would make your mood better? Colorful clothing! But we'll let them sleep. Then go sort that shit out when they uh, stop. You know, being sad. Pete wants to learn. We'll have to wait. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people are pretty sick because of these gut worms. There's not really much I can do about that. I will just deal with it when they can, I suppose. Okay. Changing out of the armor, that's good. Putting on the normal clothes. Uh, gene extracted. Extracted gaunt head. Uh, I don't know if I need a gaunt head today, but... Gaunt head. Oh. 
a pinched gaunt appearance in their face and head yeah i don't i don't think we need that very often but hey we can always sell it i suppose Yeah, we'll just wait for. We like choose to like lower your food and take a little bit. Not really. You no, know, you're affected by gut worms. I think we're just gonna release you. I don't really think I want to hold on to you anymore. You know, no, 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 no. You don't just release someone. That's foolishness. First you strip them, then you release them. Really need to sort out food. Do we have more wildlife that we can go murder? There's like four animals. Oh, I guess we've got some animals there. There's something, I suppose. Uh, we've got some wood, right? Or are we out of wood? No, we've got wood. I think my construction bots are currently, like, dealing with the damage that I did in that fight, though, so... They'll get there eventually. They'll sort it out. Cleaning bot is just repairing... Well, just repairing the attackers? No. Man, just that one hit was so good. That's some good shit from Dagoo. The robot slayer. I'm cutting down a tree. Sounds like someone's cutting down a tree, but I don't know if that's actually happening. I think it's the sound of them repairing the leather sandbags. Okay, now I've got another bed. Uh, who is awake? Lean is awake. You can go capture Kiyoshi. Why though? That's the question. Why are we capturing them? That's a good question. Why? There's no reason to. Drip them? Are their clothes good? Their clothes are terrible. Yeah, no, clear prioritize work, do whatever the hell you want. He's been let go. Quite frankly, I don't care. He'll probably die. Malnutrition's gonna get him, probably. I mean, the gut worms are gonna be a problem for everyone, but why are we making it worse for ourselves? Uh, who do we have that can cook? Um, we've got a couple of people. I Am The Sky is really our best cook right now. But is feeling unhappy. We're eating all our traveling food. It's all we can do right now. Medical treatment required. I mean, yeah, I know, right? Everyone needs medical treatment right now. I know. What do you want me to do about it? Just ate a lot of food, that's great. You're gonna go have a beer. I mean, I respect that to some degree. Quest available, the red fox is an onion. Do we get to eat an onion? Um. An 11 year old named Onion is calling from nearby. Uh, she says a pack of 11 man hunting red foxes uh, after her. Uh, yeah, look, Onion, I think you're having a great time. Um, good luck, Onion. This is me not saving the Onion. I should never save onion. We 
We go meditate. All right. Well, at least uh, Dave the second is cooking some food. What is your cooking? Four point five. Okay, that's decent enough. We gotta get what we can make, right? Um. Hopefully these crops will come in well and we're going to make a lot of food. I don't know how much I believe that's going to be the case, but that's what I hope. Are you a crafty cat? Combat cat, okay. Still trying to deal with those uh, gut worms. How are we doing with those? Probably not great. Yeah, I mean, it's not even half cured. I just don't think we're going to have the food to survive this. All right, we're going to do what the shirt? All right. Uh, well, let me just say, I do 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 What the shirt? Classic. Today's what the shirt? Is, uh, we've got the Zimmerdale Old Bridge Motel. Brains. And of course the lights say zombie motel. And there you can see some zombies. They just chill them. Look at them all. I like the one closest to the foreground. He's just like there. It's like, sup. <laughs> you ever played Dead Rising? That's what this shirt reminds me of a little bit. Like at nighttime, the zombies will get the red eyes and they will just become just a little bit harder to kill. Good. This is a zombie mod for RimWorld, isn't there? That might be fun. Maybe we'll do the RimWorld zombie mod at some point. Potentially. I don't know if we've got enough food to really stay in the colony right now, but we're trying. We're really trying. Ritual opportunity soon. Yes, the ritual is coming. Um, really, if anyone comes by, we will just take... We just want all their food. Hunter lacks ranged weapon. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose they do. Because their weapon is currently in there. Mostly damaged, but it's what we've got. People are doing the best they can at eating, but we are going to run out of rice very soon. And that rice is the stuff that we bought with like 2,000 leather, ar uh, leather armor. 2,000 leather. We don't have a lot of food. Sam's not happy. Why are you not happy, Sam? Uh, you've got wake up withdrawal. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, no one's really having a good time in this colony. We might be nearing the end of this colony, actually. I don't know. Um, the starvation's going to make things interesting. Um, but we'll see. If that's the case, I mean, that's fine. We can always start a new run. Like, I've got plans for another run. Whenever that does happen, then that happens, you know? Right now, we do not want to take on other people. I'd really love to see these four go. Uh, these four, when are they going? They are going in 3.2 days. Wonderful, that's so far away. And some of my people are getting food poisoning. Okay, Dave, you can probably stop cooking. Just stop. Because you are hurting people. You might actually have doomed us more than we were already doomed. And that that's great. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, go go drink your beer. Oh, God, yeah, no, we're actually in a worse place now with the food poisoning happening. Because food poisoning, if I remember rightly, means that they're going to get even more sick. And also, oh, wait, you're not Violet's master? Oh, okay, wait, we can fix that for you. Sorry, I didn't realize that your dog wasn't your dog. So Nuke, for instance, 
up food poisoning, which will... I mean, the vomiting is the problem. Like, eating and then vomiting, despite the fact that... We're going to have to start eating our vomit. That's really the only suggestion I've got. Like, if we're hungry, eat your vomit. It's all you've got left. Um... No. What are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. God, no. We do not need that right now. Spend that. Spend that. Spend everything except simple meals. God, we do not need traveling food right now. We are not traveling for a while. Yeah, we got some rice. Six rice. And Sam is having a tantrum. Going to destroy the therm geothermal generator. Really, Sam? That's what you're gonna do. Doesn't someone have, like, inspiration to, like, inspired surgery? Inspired recruitment. Okay. Lena. About to go. Everyone's doing shit right now. Okay. Go arrest Sam. Grab Sam and be like, no, stop that now. Did that make them feel a bit better? Was it somewhat cathartic? No, not really. They feel good that we released a prisoner? Huh. Okay. So we're going to recruit you. And, uh... Oh, great. Oh, we've made a little bit of rice. How much? Six. Oh god. Yeah, this is not enough rice. Uh, how do we recruit people? I want recruiting done, please. Oh, wait, does Lena not have Warden? Lena has Warden. Why can you not be recruited? Maybe because they already just put him there. No interaction for the moment. Okay, food-wise, we might be okay for a little while. Uh, we've got plenty of meat that ready to be butchered. Okay, we should be okay. Uh, you're hunting a rat. That's cool. Maybe you'll even kill the rat. 0.76. I mean, the real benefit of hunting is improving your shooting skills. Like, that's nine times out of ten what I'm actually after. Right now, I would actually like real food as well, but nine times out of ten, I'm just happy with having the uh, shooting skills. Heals wise, we're okay, I think. At least for the time being. Oh, we do have hungry pen animals. It's, uh, which one's hungry? Oh, it's Turtle of Jackets again, of course. That hungry duck. Because we do not feed our animals very well. Low food. We've got three days worth of storage. Not much. 
How much meat was that? 40. One meal. <coughs> or four meals, specifically. Uh, can we, like, cut some of that just to make... I'll get there in a the moment. Yep. Can we just, like, harvest some of this? Oh, it's not harvestable yet. Horses usually do pretty well for food, though, I think. Yeah, that was, like, a good few hundred. Yeah, just, just keep preparing food. That's all I can suggest. Uh, chop some wood. Yeah, I'd, I'd appreciate some more wood being chopped, please. I don't really know. It'll help. I would like it if they start eating this grass, but I don't think it's enough grass to start eating. I mean, the thing is, when people sit down, they have three, like, so many meals they're eating every day. Uh, wildlife. I mean, we've got a bunch of horses that have arrived. Maybe it'll be okay. Combat supplier. Okay, okay. A combat supplier seems good. I don't really need a combat supplier, but I'll take what I can get. Uh, who's shooting right now? Abelita, trying to... What are you hunting? A doe. Nice. Point nine skills? That's... That's alright. I'm almost at 11. Oh. Just hit it. So... Oh, it's his birthday today. Happy birthday, Ibex. I can't be bothered to sing this whole song for an animal. Colonists, though, they get a happy birthday song, but not the doe. I think we went too far with it last time. I mean, we always bring that person. Oh, never mind. They say bring that person and take their lung, but uh, I just realized probably not. We take this guy's lung. He's got lungs, right? We're going to try something. Uh, health. Operations. Harvest lung. I remind you that I every day come a little bit more situation that's concerning. Oh, just harvesting the lung in. The, I thought we'd at least go to the medical bay for that, but no. Then we're just going to harvest the lung in the the jail cell. You know, it's like Sam's just looking in the sky. Like, oh my God! It's like you know. The idea if you share a dorm room with someone and they're like sleeping with someone at the same time, you're just like, oh boy, why is this happening right now? Because in this case, it's, it's, you kind of wish they were sleeping with someone because that's less concerning. Okay, surgery failed. Oh no, what does that mean? Are they okay? How did you cut their shoulder? while trying to do surgery to take out their lung. How did you mess up that badly, Valdak? Anyway, what we'll do is we're going to... change that again slightly. Okay, we're going to do another operation. We're going to try again. Okay, they've only got one lung left. I think if we take their other lung, they'll die. I think I'm aware of that. 
Um, we could try heart surgery, but quite frankly, I don't think anyone in this uh, base is probably going to be okay for heart surgery. But I do know Sam. Sam? Oh, wait. Yeah, Sam's got an artery blockage, but at the same time... We just... There isn't just, like, heart surgery, no. Remove stomach. Well, that'll get rid of the whole gut worm situation, I imagine. So they're going to wake up, realize they've got a destroyed lung, and be like, well, at least I saved someone's life, right? Not really, no. Oh, wait, we need to be... Who's my best social that isn't eye in the sky? Uh... Lena, I guess. Okay. Really not sure about this. What do we? What have they got? Um, we can get rid of a few of these uh, packs. Green. Green skin. Damn, I kind of want that. Gets me away from a position that makes me kind of concerned every time I look at it. Uh, let's get rid of some of these clubs. Because quite frankly, a lot of these weapons we do not need. Uh, what are you actually selling? A mono sword, a Zeus hammer, an Altex staff. I can't afford any of this shit. A Doomsday Rocket Launcher. Greetings, Dave. I can't afford any of this stuff. Ooh, a cool helmet, though. Um. No, no, I... That was a little bit of a fun stream just to play around. Uh, that was never, like, the real stream for the day. That was just me trying to play a little bit of... Jump King, and then being like, man, if Jump King, because if Jump King. <laughs> Jump King is really mean. Not really new information to anyone, it's just such a harsh game. I like it, but uh, gosh. Uh, let's take some EMP shells, actually. Take, take these shells, they might actually be useful. They didn't sell any food. But that's kind of expected. And what we're going to do is we're going to load up. We're going to light it, load up the high explosive shell when someone gets a chance. Thanks for your support. <laughs> I'll take it. Thank you very much. I thought we were supposed to get a text to speech on that one. No, it's at 100. That's right. Um, thank you for your one cent. I appreciate it. You're allowed to offer like some advice now. No, wait. You need to offer two cents for advice. <laughs> that's how it works, right? <sighs> thank you for the bit. All right. The muffalos are just chilling inside my house. I'll look at you guys with your food. But you feel real proud to have food, don't you? Um, okay. What I would like to do probably is... Battle Jackets is still Top Cat. Is that about to change? And Turtle's not going to be happy with that. But you know what? That's his choice. Maybe. Uh, okay. Change the color now. Hopefully that adds the wearing the color that you like. I don't know at what point that becomes an issue. Do you need to be fully in the color you like? Wear your favorite color, yes. So your hat's allowed to still be black. Cool. I'm happy for you. 
But overall, a lot of people are just in a bad way right now. Duke's gotten food poisoning. Yay! I detected a steel mining worksite. Oh, God, I'd love to take that out, but... I just don't really have the food to take... 300 steel, though. It's tempting. I won't lie, it's extremely tempting. How's the greenhouse going? Uh, we don't really have components to build more of it, so it's doing its best, but not doing great. Okay, hopefully Lean is going to re-recruit Sam. Yeah, the problem isn't the, uh, I guess it kind of is then, isn't it? Yeah, let's try that. Let's just dig up the floor. go shall we my favorite spell in D&D &D, remove floor I'll spell in D&D &D, I don't know why I said it was okay Sam is back with us welcome back Sam please do not try and destroy things again I know we're all really annoyed by the food situation and the gut worm situation Uh, Sam can go get their rifle back, I suppose. And Veldak, you've got a sword, right? But it's a normal sword. I'm going to give you a good sword. Did you break risk, Sam? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm pretty sure if I took this person's lung, they would not be happy with me. Um, although, actually, can we not take their lung just because it's cut? If we get the lung heal, can we try and take it again? I want to take your lung. Let's see. Very excited about taking this man's lung. Okay. We go operations. Oh, yes, we can try to take the lung again. That's what I'm talking about. Now we're going to improve the medicine because I think that's where we messed up last time. We didn't have good enough medicine. Like we come in with medicine and a sharp knife and they're like, oh shit, not again. Like, oh, you better believe again. Better believe we've got nothing better to do today. Uh, that might be all the food we have right now. Okay. We go and hunt these horses down. Not only can we, we're going to. Uh, days. Sam's in a daze. That's okay. How long until you get over the whole wake up addiction? It's gonna take you a little while. Nina's teaching how, a child how to fight in melee combat. 
Drum party opportunity. We're getting drum party. Um, you know what? People love drum parties. Do it. Hey everyone, it's time to meet up for the drum party. Casey's just vibing. No drums being played, but just vibing. Good day, Peter. How you doing? Yeah, Veldex playing the drums. What I love to see. I guess we could probably uh, deconstruct these chairs and get new chairs in. Good drum party. Everyone's loving this drum party, I hope. Okay, uh, ooh, relationships with the Fluff Woman has uh, changed from negative 22 to negative 2. It was an unforgettable drum party. I've always said that about drum parties. And then everyone's going to go have a meal? Yep, because we've got enough space everywhere for that. And Lena's going to just have to go elsewhere. Well, oh, we're running out of meals at some point. Okay, let's just put these chairs down. Just because, you know, they're, they're nice chairs. Seems like the right thing to do. You now, if you got time to lean, you got time to clean, as they say. You're getting up early today. How early is early? I may ask. Not judging, I assure you, either way, I'm just curious. Lately, I just wake up at about 7, regardless of what else is going on in my day. Um, just, I find it hard to sleep in these days. So, 7 is my normal time. Nuke is exhausted and needs to rest, well, 8 in the morning? Fair enough. Mad Stallion. Hey, that's what they used to call me in high school. The Mad Stallion. They called me that because I was crazy. That was about it. Uh, you have failed again, have you? But what I do notice, we'll try again. It's Sunday and you're on vacation. I mean, it's Sunday for me, but I guess I'm not on vacation. So yeah, it's valid. Um, Dave and Veldak, they can go with their swords and they can go fight the horse. I like how it's just a regular thing to go do. Oh, guys, it's time to go fight the horse. I've got a couple of doggies with us too. Now, where is the wild stallion? the mad stallion we didn't need quotation marks there that was probably wrong but you know I'm a criminal and they called me that because I was crazy but still double quote oh no we've got two that can just be used for other things I've fallen for the classic trick hell bait haven't I That's alright. I'm actually bothered. I pretend like I'm bothered, but I ain't bothered. Fault was entirely my own. <laughs> yeah, it usually is. Um, where is the mad stallion? There. Okay, Dave and Valdek, can you go and handle this, please? Like, it's all I'm asking you to do today is just handle that. No, I don't think so. I mean, to be fair, that was other Dave. 
other Dave was the one that yeah that was the old you this is Dave the second I think that's the mad stallion yeah it is oh shit it's coming oh lordy that horse is coming well, the horse isn't armed with anything, so it's probably going to be... We've got two people with swords against a horse. I think it's going to be fine. The horse is dead. Uh, wounds? Nope. Not wounded. How about the wolves? The wolves okay? The wolves and the warg is okay. Yeah, easy. And on a plus note, that improves their uh, melee skills, so. Can you eat the horse? Absolutely, freaking lootly we're going to eat the horse. Think we're going to be this low on food and not eat the horse? That horse is coming with that robot. Eat the horse, Luke. things I could have not said that was one of them um what am I missing no not yet uh oh it's just finished okay we can do it now uh zone growing zone and we're just going to grow potatoes, I think. Yeah, just potatoes. So they're not going to grow as fast as like the hydroponics, but that's okay. Rice actually might be a better idea, I've just realized. Just because we need food desperately. You're like, yeah, potato is a better calorie sort of thing, but. Okay, Abelita's is coming to watch medical being done. And uh, look at that skill improve. Well, Lex, like, don't worry, I've done this like three times now on this one lung. Get it eventually. We'll get that boy out eventually. <laughs> Surgery failed. That lung is that lung is so deep in there, we just can't get it out. We'll get it out one day. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, kid. We'll get that lung out one day. Ah, uh, excuse me. No, 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 no. You don't get that medicine. For just everyday usage. Thank you very much. This is more regular medical skills you need to learn, Abelita. Not how to take a lung out, which Veldak, by the way, does not know what they're doing. But I like the fact that you think that Veldak knows what the hell they're doing. Okay, anyway, it's time to remove another lung. Or we'll try to remove the lung again. We'll get it. We'll get it. Don't you worry, kiddo. Maybe we'll use glitter. No, we're not using glitter medicine on this. Although, how much good medicine are we using? Maybe we should use the glitter world medicine. Fine, we'll use the Glitter World Medicine, but just this once. I really wish we had a good doctor. Uh, and you know what, we're going to grow hay grass here. Why would you grow corn? What's good about corn? A long time to grow. Ah, I see. So is corn just naturally superior to potatoes? Is corn better than potatoes? This is probably a uh, farm. Food production. I'll find out soon. Um, more health points than the other crop, it doesn't really matter. As 
the long shelf life yields a lot of corn per harvest. Okay. Is there a table? I get a table, please. I'd love it. Excuse me. I'd love a table. Uh, 22 units per food. Okay. Potatoes. Those yield 11. Okay, so corn does technically yield better, but it might not be great. We're doing okay for food at the moment, though. We're going again, boys. Uh, 6.19. He's gonna wake up and have, like, multiple incisions. It's like, what happened? We just couldn't find your lungs! Those things are real deep in there. This moment that I realized that Dagoo was actually also probably capable of doing this. That's alright. Surgery failed. Ow. You know what? Keep your lungs, kid. We don't want them anyway. I do want those lungs, though. <laughs> it's very Dr. Nick Rivera, though, isn't it? Hi, everybody! Hi, Dr. Veldak! Today we're going to take a lung! <laughs> Oopsie! That's not a lung! Ah, Dr. Nick Riviera, truly one of the best Simpsons characters. And Troy McClure, both characters voiced by the same guy who was murdered. Just say murdered, don't try to be cute about it. Can you take his lung, liver or kidney? I mean, I'd love to, but the problem is he just won't let me have it. He's just, oh, he's got an infection now as well. Uh, this guy just doesn't want to give up his lungs. It's quite disappointing, really. The lungs being stabbed. Bill Hartman. He was on news radio? Okay, I don't really know anything about the man beyond here at Simpsons. Um, but yeah, pretty freaking tragic story, right? It's not really something that we... It's really not something many people knew about. They only know about it if they sort of just looked into Simpsons, because, you know, I didn't know him. Like, not... Obviously, I didn't know him personally, but I mean, at all. sick from an infection in his torso. What? Because three failed surgeries to get that lung out? Don't worry, we'll go back for it. I mean, now it's just the principle of the matter. Also, I in the Sky wants the lung, and I in the Sky is the leader of the space at the moment, so, you know. You know, if, if you try to take someone's lung, they just won't let you have it. I mean, that's just extra reason to really try for that lung. I'm not saying anything that we don't all think. I mean, Dave was the previous leader of the base. And I would have got Dave that long. You know? Um, okay, we don't actually want those. What we do actually want is flat fists. We 
desperately need components. Now, who did I see was uh, uh, appearing? Was it a trader or was it just a guy? Might have just been a guy. The guy. It's Ghost Spore. Just a little guy. Um, Devil Strands is not growing here. I think we can all agree on that. Like, it's halfway to... We're halfway through summer and it's growing at 8.2. I think we'd be better off trying to get some rice happening here. Or something else with it also very low... point is we, there's no way in hell that's going to grow in time what if it's a winter plant i don't think anything's a winter plant it was trained as best growing on a greenhouse good to know okay we're gonna cancel that um and we're just going to try and change it for rice maybe we can make some rice doesn't help that we've still got a volcanic winter, so things are already growing slower. Which means, you know, our crop's going to fail more than it already is. So that's cool. That's what we needed in my life. That's all right. We're getting rid of the Devil Strand. We've hopefully, we'll try to grow some rice. Maybe. Could do. But what I could do, here's a thought. What if I encased it, put some sun lamps in there, and then during the summer, I just remove the roof? I mean, I suppose I could do that, right? Oh no, because then I need the heaters still. Just the amount of raw power this would need would be insane. Maybe we'll sort that out during the winter, see if we can get like a winter project, at least in case some of it. I mean, it's not even going to be relevant for the next game I play. Not really, anyway. Wait, what's exploding once in a while? mountains explode what, what explodes every once in a while up in the mountains whoa oh hey the shuttle's here please leave volcanoes are mountains that's you know i think it's cute you think that they aren't Volcanoes aren't even real. Government conspiracy. Are we all good? Alright. Send it. And that gives us components and legs. Oh yeah, I forgot we were really excited about the legs, weren't we? Does Veldek want the legs? I mean, he's missing a toe. Slept in the heat. What is it? It's not that warm. It's 21 degrees. It does. It does have soil fertility. It's real as birds in the moon. So. I'm really not sure if they're real. You're not a body purist, so that's good. Um, just because they're drones in a spaceship it doesn't mean they're not real a valid point uh, already we were growing our grass though
mean, we could always put like thing around that. That's where we grow our grass. Burn the grass. We love our grass. It's how we feed our animals. It's how we make sure turtle does and bullet tears don't die. Animals are fine. The animals are not fine. They're constantly starving. Look at turtle. If I click on turtle, turtle's gonna. Okay, turtle's not like. I have rice. Mm. Maybe. Yeah, that's probably true too. Okay. We'll start, we'll build this then. Uh, we're not going to enclose it just yet. I proved your point, I refuse. We're going to let it grow and then in the winter we'll sort it out. Being Sam. Hunting a mare. Consuming a meal in the water. Grass is the only thing that brings me true joy. Why would I burn it? smoke it. I don't smoke that sort of stuff. You know that. I've mentioned this before. Besides, it's illegal in New Zealand. It has not been legalized in any part of New Zealand, that stuff. Space in the open chest cavity of the kid who's going to lose his lungs. He's not a kid. He's 28 years old. He's fine. Speaking of that, anyway, uh, man, he's really happy a lot of his rivals died, huh? You know what? He's got to develop immunity to the, uh, the infection. We're not going to kill him. We're just taking his lung. The problem is we're always going for the right lung. I think the right lung is like harder to get. Got to go for the left lung. That was a mi that's my mistake, rookie mistake. What are you shooting at? Oh, there's a horse there. Isn't the left one where the heart is? I'll be honest, I don't really know anything about lungs or hearts. His mood has decreased, probably because he doesn't like having surgery done on him. Hate having this un filthy What do you have? Oh the wooden foot. You're not happy about the wooden foot. Surgery failed. Okay, well that's fine, we'll do another one. You know what? Try to take both lungs. If you fail, then uh we'll be alright. How did you scratch their leg while doing surgery? I thought the heart was in the center of the chest, am I wrong? I don't really know where hearts are, so... He missed. He really did miss! Look, we'll get that lung one day. <laughs> We're gonna go for both of them this time. That's the esophagus and the trachea. What? I thought that was in the neck. I'll be honest, if this wasn't immediately obvious, I don't really know human physiology that well. All my human physiology I learned from XCOM. I was like, that's not a human f game about human physiology. I'm like, well, you see my problem then, don't you? 
to go all the way down. Really? I just thought they were in the throat. I legitimately don't know. How else would it connect the lungs and stomach? Man, I don't know. Magic. You know, it's like they say, God will figure it out. But God. Uh. Realize the stomach's all the way at the bottom of your rib cage. Yes. I can actually feel it. No, it sounds gross. I don't want to do it. <laughs> the true body horror for me is having a body. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get some jade, and then we're gonna make some sort of empire, some sort of jade empire. Uh, this appears to be a hole in there. Look, I'm just waiting for the day that I have become a cybernetic entity, and I'm like, yes, this is all I truly wanted. I have no mouth, but I must scream. Also, I don't understand how mouths work, body horror and all that. Why is there a hole in the wall? Is that good? I can't imagine it's bad. Got a bunch of jade. Curious, like, why is there a hole? Maybe it's just like built in a strange way. Uh, another failure of the lung. That's okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh. Hey, we succeeded in removing one of the lungs. I think we shouldn't have removed both of them. I think, I think... I think we made a mistake. I think we took more lungs than we were supposed to take. Anyway, I'm the Sky. You ready for a lung? <laughs> oh, no. Wait, do we need to harvest lung and then... Oh, install lung. There we go. Okay. No, I think I think our harvesting time is over. We're supposed to remove both lungs. Okay. Now we're gonna put this in the best medicine, best quality medicine. It's lung time. The worst part is, like, I can't even say it like, oh, no, I was saying it sadly. No, because I did laugh. <laughs> Sometimes people have more lungs than they need. Did you know some people get away with having one lung? What the hell, right? Oh god, we've got two, like, uh, just really badly trained doctors, and it's like, alright, it's long time. Load me up, boys! Give me that sweet, sweet lung. <laughs> where'd, the, where'd the other lung go? That's my question. The lung is just in storage, just like, <laughs> in a room that is 21 degrees Celsius. And this guy's just gonna go be chucked in the oven. It's a wall decoration now, yeah. Much. Okay, we've got the lung. Get that in the refrigerator. No, we're gonna get that in Eye in the Sky. 
I am this guy. Are you ready for a guy who's trained, like, got capable amateur to installing a lung? Here we go, boys! <laughs> uh, how long is who going to survive without any lungs? The guy that we killed? Uh, well, given the fact that he's in the crematorium, not long. Anyway, I am this guy. It's a long time. He's been waiting a long time for this. Anyway. <laughs> Find this guy. Oh, it's his birthday! And what does he get for his birthday? It's the present that everyone wants! A lung! Don't be sorry. Looks good. He's gonna be so happy when he wakes up. He's like, Aww, that's my birthday and I got a lung. Don't be sorry, I gave you that ability. If I give you that ability, you're allowed to use it. Uh, it didn't say catastrophic failure. Uh, okay. How about that? That works? Good. <laughs> okay, well the good news is we actually gave him the lung. Now it's time to take it back. <laughs> no. He's got to be happy about that. If it's like... Someone's organ harvested. It, what, what do you mean? It was your... You, you got the organ. You are the, the winner. Oh, it was your birthday present. Oh my god. He doesn't appreciate his birthday present. What a little shit. We, made, we got you that long. And you're like, oh, I don't like the fact that we cut it out of someone. And probably killed them. No, you little shit. It's your lung now. So mad. Not appreciated. The ethics of that gift is hard kind of ducked. No, no. It is if you guys if when on my birthday you guys said, hey, see if we pulled our money together to get you a lung, I would be touched. And if you said we didn't have any money, so we just took it from a guy, I would be more touched. Because it's it's not about buying gifts that make it special. It's about, you know, the work that was required. Anyone can buy a lung. But to, to actually be like, hey, Seif, we got this lung for you. I'd be like, oh, guys, I didn't even need a lung, but thank you. I'd be horrified. Yeah, I would actually be horrified. <laughs> Especially since I don't need a lung. I'd be like, couldn't you have donated that lung to... No. How did you get that lung? Look, let's just say... One of the people you banned doesn't need as many lungs. Huh? What? No, yeah, I, I think I'd be pretty horrified just reading about someone who's, like... You know... Removed someone's lung. I just those moments where you just, like, read a story and go... Wait, what? And they're like, hey, Panda, did you read the story about the person... And it's like, which one? The one about the lung? And she went, yes! And I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, I'd be absolutely horrified. You're right. I would be. No fun in games until someone steals a lung that they that wasn't theirs. Uh, we are low food. We have enough food for two days. Two days is the number of days that we have food left to eat. Hopefully these potatoes will be ready soon and then we can eat the potatoes.
The good news is the rice does seem to be growing pretty quickly. Look, I'm just saying, if someone gave me a lung for my birthday, I would be very appreciative. And horrified. Mostly horrified. But I and this guy, look at him. He's He's got two lungs, he's just having the time of his life. Much like the guy that went to the crematorium, except I guess he's not having the time of his life anymore, because, you know... <sighs> dust to dust, my dude. Oh, really? People like sashes? Make some more, then. I think we're only a short way away from just absolute total societal collapse. And not because of the lungs. But it's probably not helping. Like, I don't know if this harvest is going to be very good. Uh, we are in the middle of... Yeah, with the harps will be okay, I suppose. I'm uh, making some kibble. Uh, young travels wish for aid. You need 45 herbal medicine. I can choose to kill, arrest, sell, or harvest them. Interesting. Um, but because we understand how important medicine is... We will give them the medicine. I in the sky is going to give them as like absolute guilt. Like, I in the sky tends to like try to avoid breathing from one particular lung. That's just how he lives. Yeah, as we all do. Got enough food for three days. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't really need this this much medicine, so I'm more than happy to donate it to these children. Yeah, flattered and horrified. That's probably the two things. What would be the gift? Uh, a lung. I and this guy got a lung for his birthday. And then he it was he's like uh, saying he doesn't like that someone's organ was harvested. Which is strange, because, you know, <laughs> he got a free lung. I mean, do you know how much lungs cost these days? But again, it's not about the cost, it's about the thought. I mean, oh man, I in the sky. We gave you the best birthday present. How long have you been in chat, I'm Sky? Are you aware what the birthday present was? If not, let me tell you. Ah! So, I'm Sky. As the leader of the colony, we thought we needed to give you the best birthday present. And so what we did is we got a prisoner and we cut into them repeatedly until we finally got their lung and we gave you their lung for your birthday. Happy birthday! That's alright. But again, your character is not being appreciative. He's like, oh, someone's lung was harvested. It's so horrible. It's your birthday present, you ungrateful little shit. Ungrateful. ungrateful. Oh, see, there you go. You get... <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell people. If someone gave you a lung for your birthday, you wouldn't be like, oh, that's weird. It was like, yeah, four surgeries. And then we butchered the other lung and then we ripped out it. And so we did, okay, we killed a man, okay? We did kill a man by destroying one lung and stealing the other. I didn't know we destroyed one of the lungs, but we had. Not my fault. It happens, okay? But it was for your birthday. 
And this is not a tradition we're going to continue doing for everyone. No, 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 no. Just for Eye in the Sky. Eye in the Sky gets a special lung. Not everyone gets a special lung. Eye in the Sky also has a throne room, which I think we need to improve. Um, they made the mistake of coming to the colony. Exactly. Okay. We need... A bigger room, it needs to be more impressive, and he's a column and a harp. That's actually fairly easy to do. He says, realizing all of a sudden he doesn't actually have um, the ability to make a harp. Look at me just harping on. Anyway. Who got the legs? Oh, shit, no one's got the legs yet! Fuck, who gets the legs? I was thinking Veldek gets the legs. Because I would love to give it to Eye in the Sky, but I think he's already horrified by the fact that he's got a brain link. Veldek calls dibs. A 10. And got a massive alcohol addiction, which you've currently with withdrawal. Power Combat Cat. Hmm. You know what? Sure, you can have the leg. Well, dibs. I can't question that. You want it to be your left leg or your right leg? <laughs> left leg or right leg? Side quickly. Side quickly. We've only got one leg. <laughs> I've only got one leg. <laughs> Maybe we just harvest your heart. Okay, right leg. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, and we'll good. We'll bring out the good shit for you too. Oh god damn! Where did we go wrong in this game? I mean, it started. You remember, guys, when I started this, I'm like, you know what? We're going to be peaceful. We're going to be loving. <laughs> I'm leaving your heart out of the transaction. Just make sure I didn't click on that by mistake when I was making the joke. No, we're good. I was like, the the little house on the prairie is going to be an innocent colony. It's going to be a good colony. We're not. We're going to let go of prisoners. We're not going to have slaves. Boy, that's changed lately, hasn't it? It's gotten real dark of late. Like, we've got a slave, we've been selling slaves, we've been just doing some real reprehensible shit. And I'm not apologizing for any of it. That's the worst part of it. Ah, uh, anyway. When Hellblade wakes up, Get a new leg. You don't need a new leg, to be fair, but this new leg is going to be friggin' awesome. Nah, that's probably fine. I mean, let's have, let's have a look. I've never tried it quite that long. Add... I'm gonna... Oh, don't tell me apologizing with a Z was with a Z. It's not. Dave makes a really good point. Who's we? I think it's just you. I mean, yeah. It's always just me. I respect that. I be I honestly believed I was gonna do this like like a good person, and then I didn't. Anyway, Hellblade, if you die to this, it's your fault. Um. But we're bringing in the best medicine. I'm going to try not to kill you. I'm generally trying not to kill, you know, 10 year old. Oh, soon to be 11. <gasps> You're going to be 11 tomorrow, kiddo. <laughs> Looks like it's your birthday legs. <laughs> Who wants their birthday legs? <laughs> Is this how we celebrate, like, 
birthday presents in this colony, we just give people biotics. No, no more, <laughs> no more horrific birthday gifts. Uh, except for the fact, who's getting... Where's the birthday girl? You are a girl here. Yeah. Oh, look. The goo... The... 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 the Chief Cook is bringing you the meal directly. You're, you're a bit pissed off because you were sleeping. But look, it's breakfast in bed! Oh my goodness. Breakfast in bed, what a, what a rush! Okay. The goo! <laughs> the Chief Cook is gonna install your legs! Really wish we had someone better than this. <laughs> we don't have a doctor. <laughs> look, okay, look. Let me give you some context for this. Who do you trust in cutting meat? A butcher. Who do you trust in doing surgery? Well, they've got to be good at cutting meat, right? Look, it's either that or the chief, the Navy scientist Veldek cuts dead meat. Look, okay, do you want Veldek to do it instead? Veldek's just as good. Like, Veldek has slightly more skill with, with, than Dagoo. Actually, no, he's got a full point more. Never mind. I, I like the fact that Halbeck got up and was like, yeah, you know what, I'm not ready for surgery, I'm going to draw on the floor a bit. <laughs> and Halbeck gets up and like, writes down last will and testament. <laughs> okay, we'll get Veldak to do it then, jeez. Okay, you're going to be into bed. Okay. And Veldak will do the surgery. Okay. Veldek is slightly better at surgery. Like, Veldek is has got experience in taking out people's lungs. Uh, Veldek is known as a capable amateur. Capable amateur. Wow, that's so much better than the uh, significant fami fami familiarity that you were going to get. My goodness, you must be so freaking pumped right now. Who's getting the new leg for their birthday? Okay. I mean, you got cat ears, and here comes your leg. Oh boy. That's loaded, right? Can we load this, please? If someone gets around to it? Look. Here we go. It's surgery time. Yeah, I know. I didn't choose that. Tie for leg. Try butthole. Um, why I'm calling this is idle nuke. Oh yeah, nukes. Jesus. That's a bad sign. Um, we get rid of that fire, eh? <laughs> Veldex just like, and gently cut and bang! Ooh! <laughs> was that an Elden Ring reference? Um, I mean, it was a from software reference, yeah. Do it, finish the game. Uh, okay, well, the good news is it didn't say that it failed. Someone with organ mood. Oh my god, why are you all sad about this? 
Okay, you've got a cool leg now. Efficiency 150%. And when that anesthetic wears off in like two days, you're going to be just friggin' sprinting around with one good leg. Trick is you got to push it like you push off hard with the right leg and you catch yourself. What happened to your uh, finger? Um, if I remember rightly, you were exploded. I think there was a grenade. Had the worms been treated? No, that's still happening. Battery's not included. <laughs> oh my god, it just reminds me of a store. I used to work in an electronics store. And all through Christmas, we had to wear like little badges saying, remember the batteries. We stole the, sold these like shitty toys. Like they were low quality toys. And we all just had to wear these big fucking button battery, uh, buttons. that just said, remember the batteries. And I just hated it. And every year the, the badges would come in. I'd just be like, ugh. They were the worst. That's okay. The company doesn't exist anymore. And they deserve it. They deserve to fail. Because they annoyed me. <laughs> That's how I live my life, apparently. They annoyed me, they deserve to fail. Alright. Uh, we're going to have potatoes very soon. That's exciting. Feeling stressed about what? Oh, manhunter pack. Pack of manhunting hares. How many? Shit, that's a lot of them. Holy crap. That's a lot of rabbits. Uh, that is shit ton of rabbits look at those little shits oh god they're growling <laughs> i'm a rabbit <laughs> i think they've got rabies i don't is it good to eat these things like they've got a disease i ended said what the hell is happening and i was like i'm a rabbit Oh shit, you know what? I should probably schedule everyone to be inside. Because uh, otherwise it'll be like a child doing a nature run. Um. Okay, everyone can fight. Uh, you, you going well? I mean, vaguely. We at some point need to get someone's heart for Sam, but... I think that might be pushing it. The holy hand grenade of Antioch? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Count to three. Uh oh, I'm gonna sneeze. Woo! Okay, we're good. We don't have as many gunmen as I wish I did. Thank you. I've been truly blessed this day. Here they come. Oh shit, they're dodging the bullets. They're Naruto running around my bullets. Uh, it, I don't think so, but it's also not got any... Uh, got no shells in it at the moment. Even though I bought shells, it doesn't look like it actually put them in it. Oh. Uh. Needs to be manned? Okay, well, that's fine. Oh shit, there's another rabbit? Oh no, it's attacking BB-3! I think that's all of them, right? 
Uh, yes. Good job, everyone. We survived the rabbit. <laughs> um. Oh. We have to load it, or is it already loaded? It's not loaded. No unreserved shells for steel mortar. What are you talking about? We bought shells. High explosive shells, yeah. No nearby shells. Okay. It, uh, yeah, I, I just realized. So, let's make a shelf. Just a small shelf in here. And you know what, we are going to cook the rabbits. I think if we cook them, it'll be fine. Uh, how are we going for food? Uh, not great, actually. Not, not great at all, in fact. We are running out of food in a rather drastic fashion. It might be time to start thinking about taking down these camels. Alternatively, hang on, here's a thought. We have a, hunt, a hunting work site over here. Four people. Oh, it's just leather. No, I want the food. Hmm. We still have three days worth of food, but I think it could be pushing it. close to the crops uh honestly i think those ones are going to start harvesting in the next couple of days the rice that's just been grown on the floor i mean it's it's coming along i guess not ready yet that's the problem uh hellbait by the way is up and around someone vomited on the floor but you know that happens sometimes Uh, moving is 38, but some of that is due to the alcohol addiction withdrawal. Uh, but we should be making more alcohol soon, so that should be alright. Like, why are we not making more alcohol now? relaxing socially in front of the uh, the old lick, uh, lick turn oh we don't have enough hops that's why jump king cancelled and I'm feeling it no jump king I played it in this, this afternoon for me um, but I played it for an hour uh, and I got very frustrated but no jump king happened Played it for an hour, and I'm back in the starting screen again. Because I was like one screen off, I'm like, you know what? I'm going down the screen, and I'm just going to live here now. Uh, insulting spree. I am the sky, he has fixated his rage on Veldak. He will follow Veldak around hurling insults. Yeah, you <laughs> It's only going to end well. I'm Sky compared Veldek's father to a pirate. I mean, is that an insult? I'm really not sure. <laughs> Arr. Oh yeah, we can go outside again, guys. Dealt with the rabbits. Uh, and storage, clear all. I'd like shells. Just the high explosive shells, please. And we're going to put this as critical imp importance. I 
specialized limbs. Oh yeah, I wanted to do that at some point. Burn that cloth sash because it's bad. We'll make a new cloth sash, don't worry. Are you still just standing there insulting Veldek? Veldek's not going to take that for that long. She's not gonna take it. No, she not gonna take it. She's gonna stab I am the sky with a sword. Okay. Quality shell in there. Uh, Dave is making kibble. What a professional. Alright, Dave. Well, if you fall asleep, that's all good. We're done getting angry? That's good. Uh, but we are low food. What I think I might do is, can we harvest what we've got here? Nope, still not ready for harvest. Harvest any of this stuff yet? Harvest some of the hops. You know what? That seems like a good idea. Harvest some of the hops. They're not quite ready yet, but I mean... Oh god, we're not really getting that much either, are we? I think you get more from people who are experienced, maybe. I don't know. A little bit. I'm making capes. Do everyone wear capes? Maybe. Hellbait's not feeling well, probably because of the gut worms. Oh, and vomiting. Yes! Waste more food, please! I don't like how empty this area is. Good morning! How you doing, all the faults? How's your day? Well, I guess your mornings go... Morning's just begun, typically, is how people go. Uh, it is evening for me, but morning nonetheless. Time zones, right? So, I should be able to start making some beer. That'd be good. Toxic waste pack is deteriorated. You know what? I forget about that. How's that going? Oh yeah, that's spreading in a horrifying way. Um, but yeah, we really just really need to get food sorted at some point in the near future. That's some beer being made, that's probably good. I am concerned. I has a concern. Uh, the rabbits are being uh, ripped up. That's good, I suppose. Not a lot of meat in those rabbits, though. Not a lot of meat in those gym mats. Um, <sighs> how much I can really do about? It? We just keep going. Oh, we're bringing bringing another deer. And Hellbait's... How's Hellbait's movements going? Is this using the latest expansion? It is. It's uh, mostly pretty unmodded. The only differences are Grim Hub, which adds this stuff here, and Cuter Cat is, because that's who I am. Yeah, this is the latest expansion, so a lot of gene modification, robots, 
Uh, that's the main thing it added. And children. Um, which, you know, don't worry. This game is one of the few games that... A lot of games, when they add children, they're like, hey, we're going to have children in the game, but you're not able to hurt them. You know, it's like Fable, the children, you'd lightning bolt them, they'd fly around, or in Skyrim, they'd be invulnerable. This game... Boy, this game does not pull its punches. This game is one of the few games that's not afraid to get children harmed. And that uh, concerns me a little bit, but that's okay. Careful falling asleep during room world. The... Look, I would not do any medical experiments that weren't either required or a birthday present. Okay. And so far, everyone's loved my uh, presents. Hellblade's probably going to be happier once they're not, like, suffering from alcohol withdrawal. But once that happens, I mean... You know, it's the alcohol addiction that's the problem at the moment. But once we get over that withdrawal, I mean, that's going to be good stuff. Rumors of my involuntary medical experiments are greatly exaggerated. Oh no, they're entirely... Correct. Uh, there's a relationship. Uh, uncle of colonists, Eye in the Sky is arriving. Oh, hi. Wait. Is this like a... Is this a tribute group? I didn't really read that properly, so now I'm not really sure. I know they're traders. Okay, well, let's see what we can do. All right, then. What have they got? They've got components. I need all the components you've got. All three of them. Wait, we've got another lung? We did take both the lungs. We'll sell one of the lungs. We don't need two lungs. Uh, so what are you actually selling? got tech jump print packs which we've already got you've got some medicines You're not really selling that much are you got some food you don't have enough money for my lung you know what that's fine what am I gonna do with the lung anyway You know what they always say, you don't need two lungs. Alright, what are we going to do with this jade? What is jade good for, actually? You don't know if that's something they always say? Really? I'm sure they do. Don't need two lungs. Hell, some people don't even need one lung. Boy, is that man not happy anymore. Okay, we might consider a dance party very soon. Now we've got a uh, loudspeaker. Will Hellbait be the person... I was seeing the hot plant, that'd be ironic. I mean, he's got two legs. Just one of them is cool, the other one. Sometimes it's just cool to have one really cool leg. That's been my personal experience in life anyway. He wasn't unhappy for very long. I mean, he has been unconscious. He was unconscious for like a few days as we kept trying to take his lung and failing. Speaking of people who try to take people's lungs and fail, how are you doing, Solburn? <laughs> Declaring egg. Egg has been declared, I suppose. Um, can we do anything with crafting? I don't know. I think we're okay with that. Um, we can go try and get a wolf or a lynx. 
Until we get food under control, we're going to be in trouble, I think. Wait, it wasn't the word declaring? Huh. I, I've just read it. I still don't understand. Uh, I didn't. I assumed it was a typo. <laughs> Where did I find an L? Uh, literally every game of Magic I play, usually. I find a lot of L's. Sometimes you gotta find more L's than you think you needed. Egu, 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 egu. <laughs> right. Alright, well the good news is we are probably okay for the moment, although food is going to be very pro bad very soon. But we are harvesting some rice. We're carrying 12 rice, that's not even enough for a meal, or four meals. Enough for one meal, I suppose. Um, but yeah... How much food do we have enough for two days? Yep. Uh, we're being raided by the fur of Horash. They are arriving in transport pods and they're all over the gosh darn place. Okay, the plan for this is everyone craft. Nuke, not you. Watch this one day. Okay, I'll click on it. Google Trend. That, that way to my history. Okay. Now, I don't know exactly where they're landing, but I don't think neither do they. They are scattered. Uh... Oh yeah, okay, so sorry, I see what you've tried to do there. Um, stay inside, please. Gunners at the front. We've got cat ears, that's important. I've immediately shot this guy through the arm and the humerus. Ooh, that's gonna hurt the whole funny bone. Okay, he's down. Uh, do we want to save him? I'm gonna say yes. Ah, wait, stop. He was down. All right, and uh, he's lost two toes. That's unfortunate. Oh God, did someone just shoot him? Nina? I think we stopped shooting now. Okay. Let's do this properly. Gonna rescue. It's a rescue mission now. It always ends up being a rescue mission at some point. Look, don't worry about it. We're just saving this guy, okay? 
Oh shit, this guy's got a gun. That's unusual. Okay, Lena can probably go in there now. Uh, I'm this guy has lost control. Wait. Oh. So, oh shit, we're being attacked from behind. Well, that's concerning. Belek, I know you know what to do in these cases. He's trying to retreat. Uh, that's going to go badly for him. You're dead? Yep. You're dead. Yep. Okay. Honestly, that looks like it went fairly well. One guy trying to retreat, but Veldek will deal with him. Oh, never mind. Apparently, that thing is just going to... You're going to try and fight my little drone. There's no reason to do that. There's no reason. Animals, go. What's that guy armed with? An auto pistol. Yeah, this is going to go badly for him. Valdez just comes in and just cuts his arm. Pretty badly, too, actually. Ooh. Oh no, you've punched Veldak. Wait till the wolves up here. Wolves are here. Uh, look, I see no reason not to capture another man. A couple people were injured. Um, Dagu lost some toes. That happens sometimes. We all lose some toes from time to time. Because they have such low hit points. You know, if you wanted to not lose toes, have more hit points on your toes. Uh, you are still bleeding to death. That's probably bad. Those and things are low HP and no armor or clothing covers them. That's strange. Who's Tainan? They'll be totally fine. It's alright, let me just, uh real quick I need a button for that I know there's the man behind RimWorld oh speaking of people behind things uh, did you guys hear of course Dwarf Fortress came out as you know as I'm sure you know uh, they apparently reached their sales target that they thought they'd get in like a few months they reached it in like six hours, which I am so happy for them. You know, I'm always happy when people reach their sales targets, obviously. It's mostly old players. I mean, sure. Say what you want. I mean, if old players are willing to spend $35 New Zealand on a game that's been out for years for free, I mean, that's... Who cares who's doing it, right? Say old players, but sure. I mean, the old players are spending money, and that's what matters. Some old players are leaving bad reviews because they don't like the mouse controls. I mean, can you still play it with the keyboard? Or is it just completely mouse controlled? Because if you can still play it with the keyboard, then I mean, what does it matter, right? Keybinds were changed. Uh, yeah, okay, I can see why people would be a little bit annoyed by that, but uh, also get a grip. Oh, the robot's actually dead. I killed my robot. Now, 
I need to resurrect my robot. <laughs> the fool! Oh, that's funny. I like that. Thank you. I didn't. I I didn't know that one. That's so good. Could have just downloaded it, guys. Oh, that's really funny. Uh, starvation. Do you have a meal? Like, do you have food? Oh. Blue chick marks eight dollars on PC Android and eleven dollars on iPhone. <laughs> Why are people paying three dollars more for iPhone? <laughs> I mean, what? What the hell is going on over there? I don't understand. Also, look forward to that being misused by someone so Apple needs its cut. No, it doesn't. Apple nerds are used to it, I think, yes. I used to call it um, the, the nerd tax. You used to be able to buy like a TV show of something for like 30 bucks, but if it was Star Trek you wanted, it was like 70 bucks. Like, yeah, it's the nerd tax. Like, oh no, it's because it's like six DVDs. I'm like, this show is eight DVDs. It's nothing to do with like anything to do with that. It's just, they know nerds will pay that money. Although now I think the prices of Star, Star Trek is a lot lower, but not that I care anymore. It's all on Netflix now, so why, why would I care? We are not high on food, are we? Windwush. Care about you people. No, you're just always hostile to us. Okay. Uh, it's all on Netflix. What year is this? 2016? I mean, yes? Is it not? I forget. Please remind me what year it is. I do not remember. Anyway, this man needs to go in the pain machine. Into the pain machine you go, but... That's true, I suppose. But I mean, that being said, I haven't watched Star Trek in ages, so it's all on Netflix, and I'm like, ah, but I'm not going to watch it. Can't be bothered. Starvation. The colonists are starving. Oh, it'd be wonderful if I had more food. We are still running low on food. Um, you've been taken to the pain machine. That's cool. Um, is there any reason to look after you? Not really. You train animals, I suppose, but why? What, the pain machine? I think there's already, already reference to the pain machine in, uh... In the quote database. I think it's a fairly new one. Uh, hang on. What was the most recent one about the pain machine? I wonder if, uh... Up there. <laughs> A lot of people are just. Oh, are we having lightning? Hopefully not. It'll just strike in the middle of my fields where all the food is. That'd be about what I expect now. 
we are going to have problems with food. It'd be better once we've got the uh, worms under control, but that's just not happening. Those gut worms are just being a right pain. Ah, the revolutionary ducks. You know what? Uh, animals? I think we're going to get rid of our camels. I liked having them, but I think... Why don't we just get to rid of two of the camels? We are running out of animals, though. Remember when we had lots of animals? It was great. <laughs> There's so many animals. And now we do not. Is going to go deal with the animals? Yep. No, the ducks won't be touched. Well, the single duck. Anyone, any animal that's named by someone will not be harmed intentionally. So bullet test, despite having no legs, will be okay. Um, negative two degrees outside. That's concerning me. Yeah, bullet test has no legs, but at the same time, I'm like, well, that's that's my problem. Yeah, we're gonna harvest this, all this grass. Give them prosthetic legs. I don't think I can do that for a, a piggy. I don't think so. No. I cannot. You can do that in uh, non-vanilla. That's cool. Of course you can. You can do anything in non-vanilla. Well, it test dummy as a pig. That was their choice. Ah, uh, you've you've been like someone has to come to you every couple of days to feed you, so that's cool. Breakfast in bed every day for you. You've also been in the least danger. So, you know, not all bad. Who's <laughs> Got extreme break risk. Why? Intense pain. Body pure. Oh, what have we done? What have we done that makes you sad about the body purest thing? I haven't done anything. I don't have an unnatural enhancement. I mean, aside from the gut worms, but that's not really my fault. Malnutrition trivial. Yeah, people are. Getting rather hungry. Wait, hang on. No, no, we've got food. Elbate's hiding in their room because of alcohol withdrawal. So, yeah, this is the gene extractor, and that extracts genes, which is important. Because then what you can do is you can combine the genes. I don't actually know what we got there. <laughs> Strong melee damage and animal war cry. A war call. That's kind of cool. Uh, it will, however, incre increase their or decrease their efficiency, and that'll increase their hunger rate by two hundred twenty-five percent. Oh no, we can't afford that. 
Not right now, anyway. Oh. You know, I like being a cat person? Right, the goo doesn't like being a cat person. What the hell? I don't like being a cat person. This little house on the prairie. Everyone loves being a cat person. So sad. I mean, I'll get over it, but you know. Okay, you need to go to the pain machine as well, by the way. Uh, what's your name? Get the jeans to make them not a body purist. <laughs> I don't think jeans work that way. But they should, I agree. <laughs> that is pretty funny. <laughs> I'll change their jeans to make them think differently. I don't think that's how jeans work, but you know what? I'm not a scientist. Maybe that's exactly how they work. You know what? I think it's time for a dance party. We've got a speaker. <laughs> four o'clock, four p.m. dance party. Yeah. Hellboy Junior, what are you doing, Hellboy Junior? I thought you were hiding in your room. By the way, this is how I would deal with a dance party when I was uh, 11 years old. I'd just be like, I'm hiding in my room and I'm going to go play video games. And then I'd show up right at the end. Nope, you're not even going to show up, are you? Dance party completed. Boring dance party. The dance party was boring. Bad dancing and so-so music made the whole thing feel like a waste of time. <laughs> sounds like my kind of party. It sounds like the sort of party I host, yeah. Alright, well, that was disappointing. <laughs> um, Abuelita is, like, crafting 18.6. That's insane. Yeah, we've got a lot of food available right now. Oh, you're putting the person on the pain machine. Good. Three belongs. Give me your jeans. I mean, I know there's probably there's a, like, Warhammer mod. Can I be gene stealers? I know that's not how they work, but can I? Uh, what is your tattered apparel? Is it still the flak vest that you refuse to give up? Yes. We need components. You know, we've kind of got enough food now. I think we probably could go for a quick excursion. Um... Muxkew? I don't think you exist. No. Okay, so what we're going to do is a quick excursion over to here. Uh, we're going to take Sam the Sniper and the two children. Oh wait, one of the children doesn't want to come with us, that's true. 
Sorry about that. They're hiding in their room. Um. Okay, that's probably enough. Items. We don't really want to take anything with us. I mean, could we take some of the uh, toxic waste packs and just leave them there? That's a good idea. That's a great idea. And we're going to take all the food that we need. Yeah. And we'll be back in a couple of days. Yeah, that's, that's a good trip. Okay. Get some steel. I really love the mechanic of them, like, getting the caravans together. It's just so cool just seeing them, like, go around and just picking the stuff up that they need. Like, that is honestly, no joke, one of my favorite parts of the game. Where the hell are you going? Oh, that's right, we're taking the toxic waste packs. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that. Like, I know it's it's really simple, but it's just the fact that the game actually makes them go and do that. It's just, it makes me really happy. And then we're just going to leave the toxic waste packs over there. That's the plan. Like, so pollute some other place. Looting and polluting is quite the way... Let's hear what Captain Planet has to say. Don't do that, you shits! Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. Sorry, Captain Planet. I don't give a crap what you have to say. Uh, you gotta get to bed. You gotta go work in a few hours. All right. Yeah, sure. No worries. Well, you're gonna be left uh, behind to like protect everyone, so I'm sure it'll do fine. This uh, polluted soil is probably going badly. Should be alright. Uh, extreme break risk. Wait. No, oh, Dave is in a daze. That's okay, Dave wasn't going into... Wait, Dave, why are you even here? Don't you sleep during the day? Why are you here? You're supposed to be asleep during the day. almost ready now. Hey. Heal, sleeping, sleeping. Okay. Uh, aggressive, sleepy, animal war cry. I mean, goodness, those are some good traits. Some of them are clearly better than others, but aggressive and sleepy. How can you be aggressive and sleepy? Really? Uh, track, does it? Aggressive. They're twice as likely to start social fights. Oh, yeah. Sleepy. They're tied faster than others. And Animal War Cry. Yeah, so these are all pretty much negative. Animal War Cry is actually really good. So, it gives me a plus one. But what? Okay, we've only got six points of complexity. Why would we do this, though? Why are we doing this? Give us an animal war cry, and that's all it really does. We don't really have strong animals with us, so we don't need that. What people need? You need alcohol. Well, we know that. 
working on that. Uh, okay, we're ready to go. Go, boys. Yeah, self-tamed. Oh, cool, we've got a horse. Um, I'll just take a horse out of nowhere. Free horse, right? Never, can, never look a gift horse in the mouth. As they say. Okay, they are going to go attack a steel mining worksite. I mean, we've got some... Take the horse to the old town road. Is that a thing we do? What if the horse's eyes are in its mouth? Hmm, Eldritch Horse. Um, I'll be honest, I hadn't considered the possibility of an Eldritch Horse. Uh, if the horse is Eldritch, um, then... Oh no, no one says anything about its eyes, just don't look a gift horse in the mouth. So, I mean, it's not like one of those things that, you know, children think that if you can't be seen, you can't... If they can't see you, you can't see them. It's not that situation. So if the horse is in the mouth, you can still be a mere figment of your imagination. Gosh darn it. Alright, I, I again need to get the button sorted for that. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a good point. But yeah, if it's if the eyes are in its mouth, you're still allowed to look at the horse. You know, it's not like it needs to look at you so you can see the horse. It's not like some sort of hound of tinder loss, which that's not how hounds of tinder loss work. I don't know why I thought they did, but they don't work. Oh, what have we got? Paid cold snap. Um, Yeah, nah, I don't think so. I don't think we need any of that. If the horse is all mouths, then you've got other issues, yeah. Um... Actually, hang on, I've got seven days, right? So let's do this. Let's harvest everything that we can. Just harvest everything. And then we'll see what we can do in the way of... Uh... Getting through. Because, I mean, if it's just going to be a bit cold, we can... That's fine, we're used to living in cold. Because we've, for some reason, decided to build an arboreal forest like a damn idiot. Okay, we've got Abelita, Lena, and Sam, so only one named person. It's good. Now, if when I play this game for the cannibalism run, seeing these giblet cages is going to be great, but this isn't the cannibalism run. Uh, do we see anything that is, like, not regular stone? What I would like to do, though, is I'm just going to go forwards, and I'm going to make my horsies drop their waste packs. That was the plan. Someone else's plan. Bunch of caribous. Hey, caribous meet weeaboos. Uh, so these are pig people. They're armed with a knife, a knife, and grenades. Yeah, I think I know which one's more dangerous there. I'll give you a hint. It's the one with grenades. His name is Fats. That's as bad as the guy in Star Wars being called Porkins. Good old 
Hawkins. Okay, we're probably going to be a little alarmed by that. What does that thought mean? Killed someone. Wait, you like killing someone? What the f is wrong with you? Bloodlust. Oh. Oh, you, did you kill the guy with grenades? No, you killed the guy with a knife. That's fine. I would prefer the guy with the grenades going down. But, you know, you get what you get. Uh, the pigs are fleeing. You know what? Fats can leave. I don't mind if fats leaves. I mean... When we play our cannibalism run, that's going to be a problem because that's going to be our food escaping, but, you know. Uh, so that's steel. Yep, I like steel. I'm going to have some batteries here too. That's pretty awesome. Love batteries. Uh, what's in here? Beds. Yeah. Good. That that's a good good trip. There's still some enemies in this region. Oh, it's because the pig man hasn't escaped yet. Right. Well, now, can we reform now? No, there's still some enemy. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You must gather your party before venturing forth. You gonna play Baldur's Gate before? If so, I'm sorry for the trauma I just caused you. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, there is a gun turret there. Uh, they had that in Dragon Age Origins too. Ah, excellent. Did it say the voice line? Very important that it says the voice line. How are you guys missing shooting a cable? It's just, a, I guess, shooting a cable on the ground is tough. Did I see the new Baldur's Gate 3 trailer? No, I didn't. Is it good? Could just claim to deconstruct it. Could have done that. Didn't think about it. Uh, okay. Claim. Claim. secret there. I won't spoil it. Okay, okay. I'll try and check it out later. Dave up to. What's the Dave doing? Wandering in psychosis. Okay. Add to your watch later. I mean, the first one I saw with the uh, Mind Flayer and the uh, Githyanki. That was so good. So... I'm not usually a big fan of Get the Yankee, but Mind Flayers are cool. You know what? So great and stuff, but can we just... Not assigned to constructing... Prioritized... Why is it still not connected? Like, how does it 
have that much reach. Area is now safe. Okay. We did it. Uh, solar flare. The intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices. Oh, well, that's... It's not that we necessarily did it. It's the fact that the solar flare shut it all down. I'll take it. Uh, okay, items. What do you want to take? Take the ambrosia. Take the steel. I mean, that's why we came here. We want to take the knife. Take a knife. Always take a knife. That's not a knife. That's actually, yeah, it's a knife. Take the turret. Might as well. Travel supplies. Take the meals. Oh, they don't like that I dumped the toxic waste there. Eh. They'll get over it. Oh, we actually created some pollution there. That's cool. So that, there's a reason not to do what I just did. See, you've played Knifey Spoonie before. Psychic Soothe. For men. Classic. Only the men get psychically soothed. That's misogynist. Uh, we've still got gut worms, apparently. When are they going away? Soonish, I'd imagine. Most of the ash is settled. Oh, are we back to regular temperatures now? That's good. I had to get that back under control. Visitor. Person's here. She seems to have a few items to trade. Oh, really? Belda, can you go and trade with her? See what she's got. This she's going to need lungs. I hope she has lungs. Could use some extra lungs. Uh, what has she got? She's got five components. Well, that's an immediate buy. Uh, she's got some reinforced barrels. She's got a smoke launcher. Yeah. Medicine. I'll take the good medicine. Uh, survival meals. I'll take those as well. Okay, so what do we need to sell her? Um, what do we need to sell her? Some shotgun's not very good. There's a bunch of weapons that we just don't really need. Cloth cloth hat. Honestly, it's a surprise that we still got it. Capes. I mean, the capes... I think I want to hold on to the capes, honestly. I'm kind of thinking that we might just have everyone wear capes very soon. Yeah, that's fine. See, now Valdek does a lot of work here making the herbal medicine, but quite frankly, I think I kind of want to stop that now. Maybe not just yet. Don't. Hey, Valdek, for now, can you... Don't maintain the tree. Spending a lot of hours per day to maintain the tree, and quite frankly, I just don't want to do it anymore. Uh, Lena's major break risk that's probably dangerous. The problem food's low. I mean, yeah, but. Why is her mood low? Eat without table. <laughs> Every time. Okay, power's back on. That's good.
in the leader speech soon, I'd imagine. Maybe when everyone comes back, we'll have a leader speech. Yeah, letting everyone know that winter is coming once more and uh, we'll get through it like we always do. Those look half complete. Yeah, we can cancel that. Cancel that. This thing loaded. Not loaded. Visitors. Oh, more visitors. Uh, yeah, I would gladly go and trade with them. Well, my caravan's returned. Combat supplier. Oh my goodness. Trading season is open, apparently. All right, what are you selling? Are you selling components? You're selling three components. I will always buy components. Uh, you're not really selling much, are you? You're not really here for the selling of things. You know what, I'll, I'll just take that. That's fine. What are you buying? What are you selling? Good game, that one. I mean, Wow, what a surprise. Resident Evil 4, good game. <laughs> really? How how brave of you to say that, Seif. <laughs> okay. What, what are they selling? Uh, a recon helmet. Wait, it's not from Resident Evil 4? Oh. Oh, you know it from a different game. Um... Bayonetta, then, I'm guessing, because Bayonetta did the same joke. Well, not the same joke, but Bayonetta did it as well. I know that. And people were like, they did the thing! Alright, Steel Axe. They've got shells, I mean... from Bayonetta. Took me a second, but I got there. Great crafting, fast heal, strong melee, I mean... You know, it's fine. You want to buy slaves? It's asking for a friend. <laughs> no, you don't want to buy prisoners. That's that's fair, I respect that. You platinum to that game. Well, yeah, obviously, because it's by platinum. How do you not platinum a game by platinum? Uh, that's a joke. I didn't platinum that game. Um, because I'm not that good at those sorts of games. Flag Fist? Yeah, I'll buy a Flag Fist. Pure Platinum? Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Is, is Platinum and this Pure Platinum? Why is there two types of Platinum? Okay. But no, I, I platinum is very, very few games. Um, I think I only actually platinumed on the PlayStation one game, and that's Disgaea Five, which reminds me, I knew it was gonna, I was going to buy Disgaea Six, and then they just didn't. I think it was Disgaea Six that I wanted to buy. I can't even remember now. Uh, Disgaea. Yeah, but it was like too much, so I was like, no, screw that. Mixed reviews. Oh boy. Wait for the price drop, then worth it. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting. You want to buy a Disgaea? <laughs> I do want to buy a Disgaea. But yeah, I, I platinum Disgaea 5. Um, I don't know why. I just thought it was a good idea at the time. Yeah, I think we can turn these back to potatoes. Are they super grindy games? They are indeed. <laughs> Look, if I'm 
The trader didn't want to buy a Disagaya. It's true, he didn't want to buy a Disagaya. Um, they are very grindy games, but why does that surprise you, seeing how you've seen me play Factorio? <clears throat> Apparently, I just love grinding. Apparently, it's just the sort of thing I do. Excuse me while I kiss a Disagaya. Hmm. <laughs> You know, sometimes you gotta kiss Disgaea. Now, uh, real quick, can you load this mortar? I just want it loaded. I know. Sorry, I know. Yeah, the shell is loaded. Yeah, I know, I know, I know the song. It's also not, excuse me while I kiss the sky, I know that. I mean, I can see why you wouldn't, you'd think I wouldn't know that, given the fact that the joke is I only know ABBA songs. Um, which is not true. I know, I know, people are surprised. That's what Bruce Springsteen did. What, he kissed a guy? Fine. People, men are allowed to kiss men. I got nothing against that. Not my sort of thing, but... You know? Uh, oh, a gift? They gave me an advanced component. Thank you. A strange gift, but I'll take it. a speech 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 maybe not four in the morning four in the morning speech no one wants that shit <laughs> wait bruce springsteen isn't that like that x-men player I thought he was like a, a different guy. Is there two Bruce Springsteens? <laughs> I mean, it's probably more than one Bruce Springsteen. Ah. That's cool. Good on him. Uh, Mia 7 has started to run away. Right, where's Mia 7? Wait, hang on. Ah! Why is no one... Oh, shit, because people are scheduled that they can't leave. Oh, no, I'm going to lose a whole bunch of stuff. Rip that horse. Uh, would I suggest RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress to a beginner of these types of games? Um, I haven't played the new Dwarf Fortress. Uh, so, I mean, I played Dwarf Fortress many, many years ago, but I would probably, it really depends in that case. Like, if you, really at this point, I would almost say, do you want a sci-fi-ish game or a fantasy game? Um, but, I mean, if someone else has another opinion, I mean, please absolutely go with it. But I would say RimWorld, personally. I love Dwarf Fortress, I really do, but I just think RimWorld surpasses it in many ways. Dwarf Fortress has a little bit of nostalgia with it, but again, you know, it's had a lot of changes lately. But then again, Dwarf Fortress, I mean, in terms of people I respect in the game dev world, I mean, absolutely got to uh, respect Dwarf Fortress, because Tan Adams does amazing work. He's a mad genius, that man. Um... So, I mean, honestly, I'd probably suggest Dwarf Fortress focuses more on the storytelling part, RimWorld focuses more on the game part. Yeah, I mean, they're both fine games, 
Uh, I think RimWorld's a little bit more accessible. But of course, RimWorld, you're also looking at DLCs and that sort of thing. You don't need the DLC, but I mean, if you're like me, you know, the fact that it's got one is one of those I need it situations. Um, but you don't, of course. But that's just how I feel. Um, so really what I've done is not answer your question at all, I feel. Also, there's a wolf hunting Veldek for food. Um, this should be interesting. Veldek has a sword. While you were studying the forest, I was studying the blade. Yeah, you just absolutely can fight that wolf. Uh, the wolf has been stabbed. This time I realize that Veldek probably shouldn't be doing this alone. Where are my wargs? Okay, Veldek did win. So, that's cool. Yeah, I, I personally find RimWorld is a easier game to play, and don't worry, the chaos still exists. Um, but I mean, Dwarf Fortress is absolutely fine. Kind of a weird non-answer, I know. And sorry, I don't remember if I see it. Thank you for following. Um, I do appreciate it. <laughs> sorry, I got distracted in thinking of like the answer to the really interesting question. This world's really an interesting question that I hadn't really considered that much. Um, you know what, these guys, you've gone through the pain machine. I appreciate it. I think you can both go. Also, I know if I let you go, uh, my people are going to be happy about it. I look forward to playing the cannibalism run, though, after this. When Little House on the Prairie eventually dies, uh, I do look forward to the cannibalistic run. Um, because many crimes will be done. And that's the most important thing. <laughs> I love that they've just left this like long trail of potatoes. That's fun. Uh, who's in here, by the way? It is a... Oh, Iron Sky needs to finish this. All right. Can you just finish that, please? Is it a lifter? I forget. It is a constructor. Oh, okay. I kind of wanted another lifter, honestly. Part of me was thinking about, oh, what is this? Mech cluster with a smoke spewer. What? A mechanoid cluster has landed not far from Little House on the Prairie. The smoke spewer machine is belching smoke over the whole region. And there's a mech cluster. Okay, well, is that bad? What is the smoke going to do? What is the smoke going to do, really? Smoke's not bad, right? You can breathe smoke. Giant smoke cloud. Reducing sunlight in the region. Ah. Yes. I see why that could be a problem, actually. Uh, okay, well, let's send a few people out to go for an adventure. We've got lots of food. Which is probably because... Sorry, I just want to point this out because I realize it's kind of cool. Vegetarian meals have a green circle. Uh, meat, meals with meat have a red circle. Which is the same sort of system they have for uh, food in India. I think it's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I just got really excited by that. I just sort of realized the green circle and red circle was uh, a rule they had done here. And honestly, I think that is one of the coolest things they do about Indian food in India. Which is to like specify, oh yeah, this is meat. You can tell, even if you can't read, you see the red circle, yeah, that's got meat in it. Oh, that's a veg that that's a, not a vegetarian product. And I think that's so clever. Okay, so we're gonna send some people over. Uh all the children go. Wait, why is Hellbait? And yellow for milk animal products. I didn't know yellow. Interesting. 
I hadn't seen yellow. I'd only seen green and red. And the great thing is you'd be driving along and you'd see a restaurant and the restaurant would have a green circle. You go, well, that's a vegetarian restaurant. So good. Like, you know, I'm not vegetarian myself, but I acknowledge the fact that, you know, it's a large vegetarian population. So it's very important that you don't mess that up. It's very convenient, yeah. And I mean, I'm really happy for people who are vegetarians because that way they get like... You know, a safe meal. We're going to send four people, I think. Got our horses. Nice. Uh, nope, we don't want to go just yet. Uh, how are we doing for food? You know, it's going to be two days of food. That'll be fine. Got a lot of potatoes, apparently. They're worth a dollar each. A dollar for a potato is pretty expensive. Wait, it's a, a dollar for 30 grams of potato. That's even more expensive, honestly. Man, inflation has affected this world strangely, especially when a knife is like 51 cents. Uh, the only thing I want to do probably is just add a little bit more medicine, just to be on the safe side. I don't really want Abelita to go, because... Uh, Abelita just became an adult. What the hell was that sound? Okay, Abelita! You need to improve your skills. And we get three skills. Damn. Uh, medical. We need a doctor. Holy shit, we need a doctor. Um, and... I mean, artists? Not really. Plants? Not really. We're fine with that. Okay, construction. Choose a trait. Better at cooking? No. Quick sleeper? Quick sleeper's not bad. Pyromaniac? I mean, it's fun, but no, we do not need a new pyromaniac. Slow learner, fast learner. Uh, fast learner. Okay, she is 13. And she has ripped through her clothing because she's, she's no longer a child. And it's her birthday today. Happy birthday, Abelita. She's going to go put on... You know, it's the thing, like, when you become 13, you're you just rip out of your clothes like Hulk, and you're like, oh, time to go get more clothes. No, but seriously, you do need to put on more clothes. Wait, what happened, what happened to your beard? Why are people sleeping in those beds? Oh, because I reassigned them before. That yeah, okay. Um, I am this guy. You should have that bed because you just need a fancier bed, and Lena can have that bed. And also, we're going to move the pool decorations into your room, so she gets new leg. Uh, not today. We haven't, we haven't got any new things like that. Okay, so she's wearing a parka and pants, but she's not wearing a shirt. Probably needs one of those. I have even more t-shirts. I do not know. Let's make a t-shirt anyway. Shirt, 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 shirt. There we go. Was the child's birthday without an amputation? That's a valid question, honestly. Uh, we just didn't need one this time. I mean, she got new skills. Look, she is a functioning member of society now. Um, and honestly, with that, what more does she need? Uh, what I would like her to do, though, is to pick up some new skills. 
I'd like you to pick up smithing if possible. I'd like you to pick up research. And I would like you to pick up doctoring, but we're not going to have her... You know, she'll pick it up pretty quick. What we need, actually, you know what? What we do need is a prisoner so she can practice medicine. <laughs> Where are we going to get a prisoner from? We let them go. Oh, we stuffed up. You know what they say? The real friends are the amputations we made along the way. I've never said that before, and there's probably a reason for that. feel like you should go get the new flag jacket. No, we're gonna wait. It's up to you. Food wise we should be alright. Continue harvesting. my potatoes over here minor break risk hellbait well hellbait you're going on an adventure do alcohol withdrawal huh you know I think we should change uh, Abelita's style you know, make some t-shirts. You'd love a t-shirt. T-shirts are great. So I've sent the col half the colony to go deal with the smoke. Uh, hopefully that helps. But I guess we'll find, time will tell, right? Uh, we've got some kind of shitty animals to eat. Nothing big and meaty. It's a shame. I want a big meaty animal. It's not a weird thing to say. We all want a big meaty animal, okay? It's not strange, guys, okay? <laughs> a little strange. Yeah, you've made some t-shirts, that's cool. You can change your style now if you want. Because you deserve to wear the clothing that you like the style of. Apparently that color. Got a little bit of dye. Countdown activator. Oh. Next? Who? I don't know. Gemstones. <laughs> Gemstones do not sound like that. Thank you. I always look around hoping there's like arts, but I don't think it ever happens. Um, okay. Scorcher, Lancer, Countdown Activator, and a Tesseron. The hell's a Tesseron? A Beam Grazer. A High Energy Gamma Ray. Oh. Oh, God.
You know, I've just realized. Those people have come here with no armor. That's a mistake. But, mistake that we've made and we can't really go back on now. I really wish it was warm enough that I didn't need to ever worry about putting on warm clothes. Ah! Understood. Tessaron, probably the main target. Not a lot of cover on that side. Okay. do we first available the mammoth edifice oh it's been a while since we've made one of these so pretty decent sized thing how long do we have to make it 12 days yeah 12 days is doable Let's uh, have a look at this thing. Okay. To install it? Oh my goodness, they're not lying. It's a mammoth edifice. The most mammoth edifice I've seen in years. Don't get me wrong, I've seen my fair share of mammoth edifices. Edifici, if you will. Okay. Come back to that. Right now we're kind of in the middle of something. So the Hisseron you're saying is the dangerous one. Okay. Okay, we uh, hit the Mech Assembler. Probably good. Uh, we also hit something else. The important thing is, here they come. Okay, we hit it in the left leg. Holy shit! Don't let it shoot again, please. Please kill it before it shoots again. Medical treatment needed. Who's been hit? Sam. Has been hit in the kidney. Assuming Sam makes it out of this alive. Um, I think uh, little Abelita's got some training to do. Colonists left unburied. Well. Got some good news and bad news. Good news is, uh... Sam doesn't need a new kidney. The bad news is... Sam is dead. Uh, and Sam was a better shot than Hellblade, I believe. The artery blockage is no longer a problem, that's true. Uh, I don't really want to send Veldak into close combat when he has three of them. Jim Berries! 
Your only chance. <laughs> Metal Duck City. <laughs> this guy's eating beans. I don't know if you've ever seen that meme. You need to not be there, I think. Ah, uh, right. What the fuck happened? Maybe we just live with smoke now. This is no longer a fair fight, and by that I mean I'm just gonna make more in two days. We don't <sighs> We run. I don't see a way this is okay. Or do we wait for them to come around the corner and then shoot the hell out of them from there with the close sh shot gun? I mean, we've already killed Veldak. All we could do is kill uh, Hellbait a second time. I don't think they're interested in coming that way. No, Hellbait's still alive. Hellbait's still alive. No, you don't go and grab someone like that. Not safe. Okay. No, you know what? I think we've all had a lot of fun here. How do we leave? Okay. Um... That's bad. Well, let's go have a funeral for Veldak. Not that we have, like, Veldak's body, but you know. What are we supposed to do, right? Like, I actually do not know what we're supposed to do. Yes, wait, is it? Oh, I see it. Just they just move like one space. So they re they regrouped. Okay. Uh So, I mean, blueprints are not your place for all those parts. Oh,
Oh, you didn't you could just do it this way. That's way easier. Eat him? No. Well, anyway, you know what? With that sad news and the fact that the smoke launcher is required, I think we're going to end the stream here. What an exciting way to end. And disappointing. Look, life ain't easy in the room. We all know that. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Uh, unless you're Veldak, in which case I'm sorry. If you've enjoyed today and you're not following, please do consider following. I'd appreciate it. You can also watch me live on Mondays and Saturdays playing Factorio and Wednesdays and Sundays playing RimWorld. Um, this is why I'm a duck. Ducks don't pick fights with mix. That's true. You have? Thank you very much. I appreciate <laughs> I appreciate the follow, Ribolte. Um, and you're welcome to the stream. Thank you for being here. Uh, it's truly a lot more fun to play this game with you guys here than if it was to play it alone. Uh, you can also go to the social links, which are here. And you go to youtube.com slash cat, which is where I post these VODs. And you go to Discord, which is where you can find me outside my streaming hours, just in case you want to join in and talk shit. That's where you can go. Uh, as for me, I'm out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.